Hello, and today we're going to be having a quick look and listening at the Zoom H4. There it is, sorry, the 4. H4N. Um, I'm just going to switch this. Switch this bad boy on, and we shall see what the actual audio of this quality is like. I'm actually using a, a custom preset here, and um, I'm actually using it in the 4 track mode. And we're going to test what the actual audio looks like and see if Pluralize will actually sync this up properly. Difficulty with it being in the mixer setting is that you can't actually really check the levels. I mean, I can see the line is going up, but I don't know whether we're distorting. I suppose on a set of headphones, this will help. But this is just a test to see what it's like. And we're going to flip between the two. And this is Anya, so I'm just going to answer the phone. Hello? It's a quite a nice piece of kit. Two XLR inputs, um, power adapter goes here. We've got volume, headphones, remote, USB, hold, jog wheel, menu, record level. I'm actually just going to switch this on now. And here we are back using the the zoom as the actual audio that we're going to replace with Pluralize. Um, used it, it's worked really well, a couple of times it comes up with an error, I don't know what the problem is, Not the, the workflow hasn't changed, but we'll see, this is just a general overview to give you an idea of the quality of the sound, um, it does actually have two dials here to turn it from 90 degrees, 220, so we'll just turn that, and see what difference, if any, that makes, um, really I suppose I should be checking the levels, we're about minus 12 here, so things look okay. Um, but there you go, that's just a very, very quick introduction to the sound quality of the Zoom HM4.